Hey, hey, Choir Nation, it's the podcast for Theory Thursday, May 14. And seniors, it's your last one. That is crazy. It's been a really wonderful ride. I would have said that you are a very memorable class, an outstanding class, an exceptional class, even if we weren't in the middle of this pandemic. But now, You are extra special, memorable. I will not forget you. And if you ever need anything, a letter of recommendation, some coffee cake, need to make a few bucks babysitting, call me. Definitely. Um, A few of you still need to get me your pictures and your, all your information and stuff like that. So, um... Just if you can do that quick, I will make sure to put a little tribute to you on Facebook. Um, Hopefully you've been enjoying seeing those popping up there. I am recording this from my car again because once again, my children don't want to go to bed. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, (laughs) Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, Less screaming, but more just outright defiance. So I don't know which I prefer. Um, today was the first official meeting of the reopening committee, and um, I told you I would update you a little bit. There's not a whole lot to say other than we're looking at three potential options for the fall. One would be to totally open back up as normal. One would be to go completely um, remote learning like we are right now, and then the other would be like a a hybrid model, which I had mentioned before would be like, you know, maybe you'd come to school a couple days a week and then the other half of the student body would come the other two days a week. And then maybe there would be a day off in the middle of the week for cleaning and sanitizing, or maybe it's like a week on a week off. Um, it it could take a lot of different forms. Um, whatever happens, it's probably not going to look like it did before this all happened. Like, even if you come back, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of protocols in place that are going to make it seem different, and it might make choir a a different, kind of difficult place to be in terms of just the distancing we may have to do. And But I am dedicated to keeping it in the schedule and continuing to do as much as we possibly can so that the minute all of this is lifted we can sing and we can continue to just enjoy making that music together. Um, I really feel like not only is it the music, but it's that sense of community that we're all craving and missing. And I can't wait to get back to it. And I bet you can't either. Um, as for college students, my goodness, um, I have no idea what's going to happen with you guys. Um, when you go in the fall, um, it looks like all of the state universities in California, um, are going completely remote in the fall. Um, and that's a lot of college students over there. Those are only state universities. So, um, you know, that doesn't apply to everybody, but then, um, within the state of Michigan, a couple of universities very recently have said, Nope, we are going back in the fall for sure. We are going to be on campus. So, um, I think it's anybody's guess as to what will happen. And I actually think it's kind of a good thing that every, every school and every institution can kind of decide what is best for them. And hopefully we'll get some guidelines from the government, but maybe not like a hard set, you know, group of rules or something like that. We'll see. Um, I'm glad you liked the memes. Um, that seemed to be well received. I am still trying to tally it up because I made you post it in kind of a dumb way on the form. It was the best way I could think of at the time. And now that I'm trying to kind of round up the winners, it's not going as quick as I want. So I'm going to post the winners. I would say give me till about noon and I will post them right to the stream on Google Classroom and you will see who won. And if you won, I will contact you individually about what your prize will be. So that's something exciting to look forward to. Um... I'm just going to post a couple of real quick music theory things as I typically do on Thursdays. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Seniors, I will see you on Friday. I will be there for the uh, honking at you parade. (laughs) I don't know what else to call it. Um, and I will honk at you and maybe even make you a little poster. So I'll be there. 
Um, thank you for trying in whatever way you knew how to explain to me what graduation is going to be like. Um, from your comments, it appears that many of you are just as confused as I am. Evan Kenny, if you're listening to this, you promised to explain this to me better and you told me that you're in the loop and I am still waiting. So, um, I want to hear from you today. Um, other than that, that is all I've got for you. Be kind to each other. Have a great day. Um, and underclassmen, I will catch up with you next week.